And what, what made you choose particular areas? So, and I think you're saying you did science and humanities. Why those, yeah. that, that, that balance? Well, I'd really like eventually to work as a conservator, so like conserving artifacts mm. for somewhere like the British Museum or somewhere. And so it'd be good to know about the sciencey side, like knowing about chemistry and yep. things like that is really important for that kind of work. And then also knowing about the history and archaeology. So I took world archaeology, which was really mm. interesting, and um, gave me a really good insight and really sort of sparked my want to like mm. go and work in the museum and stuff. Was That mm. was like the third course I took, mm. and it was really my favourite probably. Yeah. And, and so you seem to have taken quite a range of different <laughs> courses. How did yes. you choose those and why did you choose them? Um, I was just... I was running my own business at the time, yeah. so I was interested in, in the business and entrepreneurial module. Um, I was interested in languages and I've done a little bit of work abroad. Mm. Um, I'm certainly using my human biology now as a lecturer working on an osteopathy um, degree course. So I'm just using all my skills. I just really chose, mm. you know, I'm interested in this. This is what I enjoy learning. Mm. So I thought, you know, I wanted a portfolio career mm. and it was just mapping out my own destiny really. Mm. 